San Francisco has some very wealthy people, as well as some would say more than its share of the homeless. The Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals recently hired a species of robot to combat vandalism on its property. And that has people really upset. Welcome to Wait Till You Hear This. I'm Steve Eastman. Imagine this. Some homeless people set up their tents in the SPCA parking lot in the Mission District on a cold night. They quickly scatter when approached by a 400-pound automaton, over 5 feet tall, equipped with cameras, GPS, and lasers. Exterminate! 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 Don't worry, that part of the scenario is pure fiction. The robots are not programmed to kill, but they do bear an uncanny resemblance to the Daleks, the death-defying enemies of Doctor Who that have appeared on the BBC TV series since 1963. Unlike the Daleks, the security robots, variously called K-5 or K-9, are easy to thwart. According to San Francisco SPCA President Jennifer Scarlett, within a week of a robot's deployment in early November, someone put a tarp over it, knocked it over, and put barbecue sauce on all the sensors. If the Animal Protection Group had merely kept the units within its own property, city officials may not have paid any attention. But the Daleks, excuse me, robots, took to the sidewalks. This is not San Francisco's first run-in with automatons. The city previously had trouble with delivery robots and enacted restrictive legislation. No surprise, then, that early this month, the Department of Public Safety informed the SPCA that it would have to stop deploying the robots on public sidewalks or pay a $1,000 a day fine. The other option, which the group is pursuing, is to apply for a permit. It's not clear how easy that will be. Security robots, after all, pose some of the same dangers as driverless cars. Opponents are concerned with them potentially bumping into people. It could be even worse as technology develops. In the short term, robots save money. They rent for just $6 an hour. A human guard, on the other hand, would be paid around $16 an hour. I don't know about you, but I feel more comfortable when man is in control of a machine rather than the other way around. Otherwise, San Francisco may one day need an SPCH, Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Humans. This is Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com. 